Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video that shows how to run DOS programs in Linux Ubuntu. When you have DOS programs in Linux, they will not run unless you have an emulator. There are several emulators which you can get. You get them from the Ubuntu Software Center. The one I'm going to demonstrate today is one called DOS Box. There is another one called DOS Emu. There is another one called Wine, and Wine does Windows programs specifically. DOSBox will not run Windows programs. You just type in DOSBox, and when you do, you will see that in this case I have a green check mark by it that shows that it is already installed. You can open up to get more information, and it'll say installed. Furthermore, if it is installed, it will install itself into your menu system automatically. And in this case, DOSBox goes into Applications and Games. However, it does run other than just games. However, most Wind, uh, DOS programs that people are running have to do with games, so they decided to put it there. However, you can change it and put it in Applications and perhaps Accessories or you could set up a new setting for it. Here it is, DOS Box. I'm going to run it in just a second. I wanted to show you the other uh, emulators. There is DOS Emu. This one's different. I do not have it installed. There is another one called Wine and as I say it just runs Windows programs. They call it a Microsoft Windows compatibility layer. I'm going to now open up DOSBox and I'll show you how it works after you install it. A program window pops up and it shows a Windows type hard disk called Z. And usually the hard disk on a Windows program within the computer is called C. And if you put in C, it says C does not exist. You have to mount it first. There are some instructions that show you how to use this and I'm going to variously show you how to get it more and more sophisticated. In its most basic form, you will type in mount C, no colon, and then you're going to show the path where your DOS programs are. In my case, I have got three, three folders in documents. Now I have mounted C, and I'm going to type in C, and now I have to change over to one of the folders. And I have opened up this folder called V. And now I am going to run a word processor. This is Video Display Editor. This is one of the best word processors ever written. I also have Quicken. In order to get Quicken, you've got to change directories up and then change to the directory itself and then type in the execution program for the DOS program. This is Quicken for DOS. Now I'm going to go back up and I'm going to change directory to another folder called Think Quick. That's a game for kids. And I think it was Start. No, Go. I forgot what it was. Was it Think Quit? Yeah, Think Quick. 
and this is a game for for DOS. Next I'm going to show you how you can automate all this and put it all in a menu. It's not hard to do. And furthermore I'm going to leave the instructions of how to do that on the YouTube website so that you can copy and paste after you download. Well I'm going to uh, close this right here and now I'm going to open up in accessories text editor and I'm going to open up the configuration file for DOSBox. Now notice how all of these begin with a dot. The dot means that these are hidden files. If you do control H they vanish and to make them show up again you hit control H again. I'm finding DOSBox folder and I'm opening it up. Here is the DOSBox configuration file. This is a text file but it tells DOSBox what to do and you can change the parameters. Lines starting with the crosshatch symbol are comment lines and they are in blue and they're ignored. Anything in black is acted upon as a program. If you go to the very bottom you can put your mount lines here. Now you remember what I just did in the DOSBox program. I typed in mount C documents and then C. I'm going to save this Now when I run DOSBox, C is already mounted and I'm in it. So all I have to do is change over to the folder that I want. In this case it's folder V where I have video display editor. Now I'm in folder V now I just type in VDE and there's VDE. Change directory, two dots, I'm back to C. Change directory, think quick, type in TQ, now I've got my game change directory dot dot back to C change directory slash quicken to type in Q to run the program that's the exe file and that's quicken exit Next I'm going to show you how you can put in a menu system. And the menu system is far more desirable. You don't have to type anything at all. You just do it once. So back to application, accessories, text editor, open, make this big DOS box. This is mount and menu. This is a script to make a menu and it also shows uh, at the very the first two lines are how to mount to C 
and then starting at the at symbol we're producing an actual script that creates a menu echo off start clear screen and then anything that says echo is what is shown on screen after the screen clears blank line and I've got four lines of stuff select one and you get VDE the video display editor select two and you get quicken select three and you get think quick select four and it exits the program and then here it says choice and you have to put in the correct syntax I will paste all this in YouTube and then you can copy it now remember you're going to have to alter up here where I have VDE you may not have VDE you may not have quicken or think quick you may have other DOS programs perhaps they are all three games you can add to this menu because it has segments and in other words you could have five selections just add to it now I will go down if error level 4 go to exit if error level 3 go to TQ 2 go to Q 1 go to V now here's each segment this you would just have as a repeating pattern change directory to the V folder after you do that you type in the command to start the program when you're done with it you change directory up into the documents folder the two dots mean go up change directory go up then go to start it starts over the menu next segment is exactly the same change directory to the folder quicken2 type in Q to start the quicken program change directory up two dots go to start this is the game TQ think quick change directory to the TQ folder type in TQ to start the program change directory up two dots go to start and then here's the last thing change directory exit go to start end I'm going to control a select everything control C copy file open configuration program go to the bottom paste control V paste file save close now when I open up DOS box I should get a menu and here's my menu it's not much of a menu I mean it's not pretty I didn't put any borders around it but when I hit one I get VDE video display editor the world's best word processor word star command set when I hit 2 I get quicken exit when I hit 3 I get think quick press spacebar what a game hey this got my kid into graduate school I'm not kidding four is exit and I'm gone now I want to show you how to open up DOS box without going up here to applications and games 
you can do it differently. You go to System, Preferences, Keyboard Shortcuts. Go to the bottom, and the bottom shows Custom Shortcuts. These are all ones that I have made. I have another YouTube video that shows all how to do this. And I've already made this for DOSBox. I'm going to tap on this and I'll, sh I'll show you what how to add this. If you don't have this up here already, you put in Add right here. And as soon as you tap in Add, it says, what do you want to call this program? Well, I'm going to call it DOSBox. And what's the command? DOSBox. Okay. And then what shortcut do you want to give it? Well, I gave it Alt, Windows key, and D. So I'm going to hold down Alt, Windows key, and D. You can put anything you want in. I mean, so long as it doesn't interfere with anything else, I can put in, uh, oh, I don't know, Windows key 5. See? Or I could put in uh, Control Alt 9. So long as that does not interfere with anything else. I'm going to tap the space bar and it says New Shortcut. I'll go back with my first preference, which was Alt, Windows, Key, D. And now I close. So Alt, Windows, Key, D. And I want to go quickly to my Quicken. Hit 2. And that's all there is to it. I also have some other DOS programs I did not put on the menu. I've got Flight Simulator. This was the original Flight Simulator by Bruce Artwick, Sublogic, which he sold to Bill Gates at Microsoft. And Flight Simulator is now run in Windows, of course, and it is one of the big money makers for Microsoft. And it starts off all the time in Meigs Field in Chicago out in Lake Michigan. And I did not show that here. I'll have another video for that. I'm closing this out. And I hope you enjoyed this. My name is Pop. And I have a whole bunch of YouTube videos and I thank you very, very much.